Hey guys, Anthony here with Anthony's Fishing Antics. Um, before I start the video, I want to talk about my last video that I did about the Alexa 400 HD. Um, a couple things I left out on that video. I'll leave the link below if you guys wanted to go back and look at that video about this reel right here. I want to do the comparison size to a normal bait casting reel, which is right here. Just a different size comparison. And uh, so this is your standard bait casting reel, you know, bass fishing reel right here. This is Shimano <clears throat> 200 HG. And this is Alexa 400. Look at that size comparison. It's crazy, right? So here's the comparison size. Bait casting bass reel, heavy duty 400. Alexa HD sounds for heavy duty. Look at the size of this. I don't know if I'm getting in the screen or not. Bait casting bass reel. Boom! Look at that. Just freaking massive. Massive compared to that, right? So, another thing I forgot to talk about about the Alexa 400 was uh, the drag. I don't think I mentioned that in my video at all, the last video, but it. It has a max drag of 25 pounds. So this thing could really bring in the big fish here. So anyway, I'll leave that link below in my last video about this the Alexa 400. If you guys want to go see that. And uh, let's get to today's video. Today's video is going to be the visual showing of the SXJ Avid Reel, the Raptor series model. And I'll be pairing that up with the Akuma PCH Custom Rod. I don't know if I can get this all in frame here. So anyway, ordered this reel. Off Amazon, third party called uh, Tackle Tackle Direct. And when I got this drill, I was missing the real seat, real seat clamp. And uh, so when I got it, I called them back when I didn't receive it and asked them, hey, you know, it's missing the real seat clamp. And uh, they had told me, oh, it doesn't come with a real seat clamp. And I said, yes, it does. Um, I said, all Raptor series come with a real seat clamp. And uh, the guy I was talking to, Scott, Bobby, I don't remember his name, said, no, no, because it would have came in the box. If it wasn't in the box, then you don't get one. So I hung up with him pretty mad. I went to the Avid Reels, uh, the Avid, uh, Reels company. And uh, sure enough, it states right there, all Raptor series comes with a real seat clamp. I didn't, didn't want to make a big deal of it, but when I went on the website, Avid uh, website, to, look to see how much the clamp was, the clamp was like 30 bucks. I already paid like a shitload for this, almost 400 bucks, I think 379 or something like that. And uh, to have to pay $30 for a little piece of metal, aluminum, that shit that came in the box, I was pretty pissed off. So I called the guys right back I told them, hey, the website says all Raptor series has comes with the real seat clamp. He said he'd get back to me in a couple days. And uh, he did get back to me in a couple days and said, you're right, all Raptors come with the real seat clamp. Sorry about the inconvenience. Um, Avid didn't ship it with the box, so you'll be getting the real seat clamp free of charge, no shipping, no handling in it, from the uh, Avid Real Company. And uh, like two days later, I ended up getting it. So anyway, this is what the reel looks like. So here's the reel inside the box. Pretty freaking nice. Look at this thing, guys. This thing is a freaking beast. Look how small this thing is. I didn't, when I purchased this thing, I didn't realize how small it was going to be. I thought it was going to be pretty big, but it's a pretty small reel. And it feels freaking like granite in my hand. It feels awesome. Like it's just a big block of aluminum. 
the gearing feels smooth. And with the Raptor Series, you get all the bells and whistles. You got the ramp. You got the two speed, six and four. So it'll go in the, right now, feels like it's in low gear. Flip the switch. That's low gear. To get out of low gear, going back into high gear. Push the button. Boom. High gear. Hit that switch. Boom. Low gear. And you can feel it too. So, I don't remember. Oh, I'm sorry too. Um, it has a magnetic casting switch. Let's listen to uh, the clicker here. Pretty damn loud, huh? Isn't that pretty sweet? So, I'm gonna just let you look at this thing. The craftsmanship on this thing is amazing. This thing is crazy. Everything about this thing is just solid. And look at that thing. Can't beat that shit right there, right? Anyway, all Raptor series comes with a two-speed ramp. Let me take that clicker off, it's pretty loud. Uh, I don't remember the spool size on this. I'll put it uh, on the screen here. And the max drag, I want to say, for this little reel, since it's the Raptor series, it bumps it up 15 pounds. I think the standard comes 21 pounds. And with this, the Raptor series, this little reel, I think, ha is, has 36 pounds max drag. Look at this thing, look how little this thing is. 36 pounds, that is insane. I can catch anything with this freaking wheel. So I paired it up with the Kuma. The Kuma rod here. That's the PCH custom. I got the medium heavy eight foot one piece, 15 to 40 pound. It's got 11 guides on it. It's got some nice whip to it. I really wanted to get um, the medium, but I couldn't have it, and I just wanted her to get that rod in my hand, the, uh, the rod in my hand. So this is my setup for that Abbott S S J X S X J, sorry, six four Raptor series, left-handed series, or left-handed model. I'm gonna pair it up with that Akuma Akuma rod, and this would be a pretty good setup. Like I said. Um, I bought it from Tackle Direct. Uh, they're actually really nice to me after uh, I explained the, what was happening. Oh, let me show you the real seat. Let me show you what actually came in the box. Ah, so it came with the oil. And there's the real seat clamp. This is what was missing in this box. Tackle Direct, or not Tackle Direct, I'm sorry, Abbott Reels. Went ahead and shipped this straight to me. So, that go like that, clamp on your reel, I mean on your rod, boom. So I really can't do any justice to this reel, just that, you know, you're gonna have to get out in there, get it, look at it yourself. This is just a visual so you guys can actually see what it looks like and if it's something that you really wanted. But that's the size of the reel. Nice big knob handle. Smooth gearing, it feels so smooth. I haven't used it yet, but um, it's pretty nice. Just the free spool right there. Let's look it up. But I'll have all the uh, all the schematics on the screen for you. Give you more information about it. Sorry, I just can't remember all the information on it. But this is the real guys. Really nice setup here. The Abbott. SXJ64 magnetic cast Raptor series left handed model. What sucks about left handed models when you go to the Abbott Real Company to get like a different color, they charge you an extra 50 bucks. That blows ass. But you can find the silver ones online like I did. Okay, guys. Here's the rod. I had to come home doing like another video on it because I, I, when I looked at the video, I saw that um, it was all blurry. So this is the Alps real seat, USA made. 
You got the double locking nuts to keep that real in, in place. Um, and you got the split grip handles. You got the rubber gimbal at the end here. You have the non slip handles. I'm going to get in focus here. This is the tip of her hair. Let me flip this around here so you can see it. So you got the Kuma PCH Custom. 8 foot, medium heavy, 15 to 40 pounds. Now you got the carbon fiber and the blank all the way up to the last tip. Let me turn this around here. Oops. So, you can see here, the five and carver is all the way to the tip here. Freaking nice. That's pretty freaking sweet. Nice guides, light rod, really flexible. Got good wobble to it. So, there you go, guys. The Kuma. PCH custom, eight foot, medium heavy. All right guys, this is what the reel and rod looks like paired up together. Isn't that freaking sexy? What? That is freaking nice. I think this is a nice combo. Gonna have fun getting out there on the water with this. So, guys have any questions about the reel or the rod? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys.